introduce who you are. All right. Right. All right. Well, greetings. My name is Drew Scott, and I have the humble pleasure to be the director out of Cameron Boys Camp. Um, yeah, I guess you kind of like to know, but I'm thankful to do it. I love doing the work we do, and uh, we want to help help boys. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. We're going to walk around and just um, <clears throat> videotape. This is the cooking area, correct? Correct. This is our cook tent, and then that's our chuck tent where we do different bits of learning. Okay. And uh, eat, eat our meals. Okay. It is raining now, so <clears throat> follow our little path here. So that's where learning and so there's the computer over there. Yeah, the that's our that's our <laughs> we call it high speed internet connection. That's right. Yeah, they, the books. It's not a computer. It's books. <laughs> and then this is our ready log. We just want to make sure we're ready before we do anything or embark anywhere. We make sure we have what we need. Uh, that we evaluated everything, and then we head out from here. Okay. Uh, likewise, our wash-up tent is here, where we wash hands and brush teeth three times a day at least, at minimum. Oh, I see the toothpaste and things over there. And this is just water that they used. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. And then uh, this is a sleeping shelter. These first three are the boys' sleeping shelters, and then the fourth one to the left is the chiefs. These are just like the young ladies. Yes, sir. Y'all even got the little, um, what do you call these Mosquito things? Mosquito nets or the? No, the, the buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, cookies are round. Cookies, cookies. That's right. That's what, yeah. And the nets and everything. What's that thing hanging from the ceiling for? It's a lantern holder. Oh, a lantern holder. Uh, okay. Uh, These are our smudge pots here. It's our nightlight. Your nightlight, and it's got yeah. kerosene? Yes, sir. Kerosene lantern. Let's see. Did I get no, that in there? Yeah. So that burns through the night. I've never seen one go out. No matter how windy it gets or stormy. <clears throat> this is another sleeping area. That's amazing. Uh, uh, we have our latrine out there, and, uh, oh, and there comes Micah. That's right. <laughs> and actually, you should see this because they just yeah. built it. You need to see that. That's okay. That's first class. It was not that nice when I was here. So this is our shower tent where we can get campsite showers. Oh, it's outside showers. Yeah. Yep. Okay. This feels like concrete here. So this is our uh, our funnel tent where we. You can go pee. It kind of uses a septic type system where it's just a um, okay. Well, what are they called? Like a leach fields and a leach yeah. pipe. And then this is the the uh, our latrine that they built. And uh, if you look at it, so it's what you had, yeah. So it's a jeep. A jeep, <laughs> it is, isn't it? And so okay, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so then, there's, so there's the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's neat so we say that we we have to go to the bathroom you have to go number one and number two right yeah that's so, right so if you have if you have to go to the bank you say i need one break or a two break uh -huh. uh, but they call this the world war ii break <laughs> this old school jeep. <laughs> and then the counselor's tent is right on the other side there Just to look at, about the pine. I know. Just look at that. It's beautiful. So you can imagine this is where you get to be every day. Yeah. You know, kind of away from things. And I bet it is. Uh, when we were talking about the young ladies at the other camp, what a shock it would be the first day for some of these kids. Yeah. Come out of your house and home. Yeah. To a total 100% outdoor environment. Then they live year round. Extremely yes. clean. Uh, now, what's the purpose of these? So this chopping is, wood. Yep. So you gotcha. Um, saw it. So you lay your wood, your poles in here, and then it pinches it down in there so you can saw it up. So what we do is we live in concert with the wilderness around us. Right. So when we want to build a tent, we design it, and then we cut down these trees and we skin them. Yeah. And then we uh, 
cut them to length and notch them together. Then we take the tent down that we had lived in. And when we do that, we gather inside that tent and we all take turns saying what we're thankful for and what it's provided for us. And, um, and so we learned that not everything in this life comes quick or right. fast or easy. And it's not a one and done. We then take that tent and we cut it up and then we use it for cooking and heating. Yeah. And um, yeah, all that wood. And so we know that this tree is a living thing. It's a living being. God created it. Right. It's going to give its life so we can survive. So we're going to yeah. be thankful for it. So That's awesome. That's good. All right.